it's caught in the crossfire. Hello everyone, Michael here and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm reviewing the summer 2023 family house and electric car, a small yet charming set which clearly resembles a standard suburban house, complete with all the details you would find in such a small suburban house. But without further ado, let's get straight into the details. This is set number 60389, comes with 462 pieces, it is for ages 6 and up, comes with 3 minifigures, and retails for $60 in the United States. So right out of the gate, let's talk about value. So as I just said, this set retails for, and I repeat, 60 US dollars. That is quite a pretty penny to drop for a 462 piece set. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad set, this is not at all a bad set by any means, as we will see later on in this review. It is just so much money to drop for a 462 piece 6 plus set. For example, the last suburban style house we got back in March with the Creator 3 in one line, that was $50. Okay, I understand, like, with inflation prices and all that, that that's okay. $50 is understandable. $55 is pushing it but still kind of understandable but 60 that's a little bit too steep for example the last sort of family house we got in the city line back in 2021 was 40 dollars with a couple more pieces and a 16 by 16 role played and one of these an 8 by 16 both of them in a 40 dollars set whereas this one only has one 8x16 road plate and a couple less pieces. That alone just does not sit right with me in my head. But okay, I can criticize this all day. What about the set? Is it good? Is it bad? Well, let's all take a look at it together. Right off the bat here, we have a nice little greenhouse out in the front with a nice potted garden full of flowers, which is, can, is actually modular, and you can move it around the set. Directly behind that, we have a greenhouse, which is quite nice. It is very glassy with the black rims and everything. We got some angled window pieces there for the interior of this greenhouse. We have a little picnic table for family gatherings. Some tomato plants growing on that piece introduced for last year's summer wave. And some containers to hold veggies, or maybe they're pots with vegetables growing in them. There we can see we have a little carrot and a not fully grown carrot. Now the greenhouse itself can actually be removed with these Technic pins. Oop, one got stuck there. Let's just put that back. So if you want, you could just remove the greenhouse as a whole and just have a house like this, which looks quite, well, maybe a little bit better. It looks more like a barn house now. But what else you can do, this is all fitting in with the modular system that they've been using. You can take out the plant pot and put it in these Technic holes. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of this suburban house. Spinning it right around, we can see we have a nice little kitchen slash living room area here for the kitchen. We have your stove, uh, probably an electric stove because it's hanging over there, just hanging about there. It's quite precarious if you ask me. Definitely an electric stove because I don't think gas stoves can do that. That's just a fire hazard waiting to happen there. There we have your sink to wash your vegetables and fruits and silverware and plates and pots and pans all kinds of things even your hands up there we have a pot and a pan hanging around from the ceiling and over there you have your refrigerator filled with drawings which is actually a drawing of this house very very nice we also have a letter as some stickers and some probably magnets now that's using the relatively new piece with the half door and uh, the stacked frame or cabinet or whatever in the fridge we only have one single carton of milk from that one time that their dad decided to go and get it 
on the top shelf let me actually remove the roof here so we can get a better access to it on the top shelf for the freezer i guess we just have some mugs i don't know if this is the freezer just a regular cabinet that's not cooled but you can interpret that in any way you like for the living room part of this living room slash kitchen main our room area or whatever we have a sofa of course to sit down and watch the refrigerator we have a single flat tan tile there and we also have a little dog bowl with some water and some dog food for the little dog included with the set over here we have the garage which is supposed to accommodate the car that includes the electric car of this family house and electric car here we have a little charging port with the obvious octane e uh reference there's your actual charging uh ports which actually if you turn it around there's a little stud on the car which you can attach it to and simulate charging up your little car and out here you have some nice greenery some plants and stuff to break up the monotony of this nougat house this nougat first floor up here we have some plants uh, for the roof it's just a graded element with some uh, leaves on top but anyway, moving on to this side, here we have the restroom, filled with all your restroom facilities and needs. Of course, you gotta have your painting of your turtle shredding the waves. We have a little shelf with some th items that you might find in a bathroom. There we have the toilet for you to expel waste from your body, an essential that every human needs and every other creature alike. And over here we have the shower, which doesn't really look like a shower until you look and you see a shower head pointing at the toilet. Anyway, there's not even a shower curtain or anything, it's just open, so I guess if someone's taking a shower, anyone who needs to go, they just have to wait or go in the bushes outside anyway moving on to the second floor as i soon as i put it on there we go moving on to the second floor it's an okay design with the sloped roof and slopes and windows and stuff i don't really like the fact that they used the tan door frame here it's kind of out of place it kind of stands out i like the contrast but it just contrast too hard with the whole white aura of this section the roof can be angled out like so for better access but we'll put that on just for now over here we have some solar panels as a lot of suburban homes do these days and for the interior we have two bedrooms for the child and one for the parents there we go. Let's take the roof off so I can get my fingers around there easier. Let's start with the child's bedroom. There, of course, we have his bed for him to lie down and rest at night to get as much earned sleep. There he has, a, I guess, a lava lamp. And over here, it looks like he's playing some sort of game. Maybe referencing to the game we saw being played at the gaming tournament truck, which we reviewed when it came out earlier this year. There we have your gaming console to play the actual game there and going through this thick doorway we are led to the parents room which is obviously less kitty but over here we have some shelves with some nice plants two plants actually and here we have the bed which is just the right size to fit two people and over here we have a little bedside table but that just about does it for the actual house now let's move on to the minifigures and the car here's the electric car that we saw earlier and the garage it is a fairly simple car built around the classic car chassis piece that has been around for decades or at least a decade it is very very old and it's kind of heartwarming to see that it's returning in such a new set other than that, there's nothing much to see about this car. It's very, very basic. Inside, you only have room for one person. We have a steering wheel and a little backrest there. Standard roof, standard everything, and pretty standard car. Here we have the first figure, which is supposed to be the father of this family in this family house. He has a little... Uh... Oh... 
Oh, what is this all? Oh my god, I'm completely blanking right now. What is this called? What is this thing called? I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Okay, what is it called? Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm sorry, it's a watering can. You didn't have to cut me Anyway, let's move on from my complete blanking of this watering can and onto the actual minifigures, as we'll find on every single minifigure here. None of them have alternate faces, sadly. Which is quite sad, but okay, because this is a 6 plus set. Oh, he fell down. Next up is the mother of this family in this family house. She's got some dark red legs and a torso print that's been around for a while and a face print that's also been around for a while. No alternate face and a hair that might be new, actually. It's very nice. It's braided into a bar and yeah. And next up is the child of this family in this family house. Okay, I'm gonna stop. This is a male child. He's got a dinosaur, an ankylosaurus on his shirt there. He's got uh, minimal back printing with no dinosaur, sadly. And something interesting I don't think we've ever seen before is a male with a, a hearing aid. It's only ever been a female face that has ever had uh, hearing aid, at least in my memory. I think th they might have introduced this for this set, and I hope that they will be continuing that face print because that is very nice. They're including all genders and all disabled people. That's very, very nice. Next up, we have this super cute little dog that keeps going on and out of focus. That is so weird. Anyway, this is a little German Shepherd puppy that is probably the owner of that dog bowl we saw in the house full of water and dog food. He is just so cute and tiny. And this is obviously a tinier version of the German Shepherd dog. It is basically just a smaller puppy version of the German Shepherd that they've been doing for many, many years. Next up is this ball, which is a soccer ball, which is intended to be used with this, a soccer goal. Perfect for the goat to come up and kick this right in. Well, I guess that means I am not the goat. I'll leave that up to Ronaldo. But anyways, with that, that is it for this set. So that was it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Help us reach 50 subscribers by the end of the year. We're very close and it would mean so much to me. And with that, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.